Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to walk through seed points in territory design. This is a new feature that we've added to ArcGIS Pro that was a popular feature in ArcMap. So let's see. So to set up this situation, we'll scroll down into Mexico City. So we're using some international data here. As you can see, these are boundaries. These are municipal boundaries around the Mexico City area. And what I want to do is break these out into five territories and then find the centers of those territories. And I could do that previously without seed points, but I couldn't control where the centers would be. The software would kind of tell me. So let's go to the analysis tab. Let's find new territory solution under the business analysis menu, and we'll create a new territory solution. So very quickly, we'll walk through this process. We'll pick our enriched layer full of municipalities. We'll call this our Mexico territories. We'll give it a quick ID field and a quick name field and click run. What this will do now is create a territory solution, which is essentially a group layer with a hierarchy. It also creates a special tab on the analysis ribbon where it has everything and anything needed to build and analyze my territories. Okay, so what I want to do now quickly is solve. We can solve these and say, I'd like to see five territories in the Mexico City area based on municipalities. So the software will do that and it will break these up into five territories. And I haven't balanced these yet. I won't get too far into that for this scenario. But as you can see, I have five distinct areas. And what I can do now, this is uh, what has been in the software, is I can find where territory centers are. So if I run this, uh, what will happen is I'll load these territory centers, and this will essentially tell me where the centers of these territories are. And it's really just doing this by geographic area. There's no real logic in this. And what I would like to do is build these territories from my own location. So what I have here is my own franchise locations in Mexico. And as you can see, um, these are spread around in different uh, areas of these territories. They're not in the same locations. And so they'll have a, a, a bigger geographic impact here. And these could be my fire stations or uh, distribution centers, areas where I need to use the network uh, to control the size of the territory. So to, to remedy this, what we've done is added a new tool called C points. This is also, if I look in my geoprocessing tools under, uh, let's see, not analysis, but territory solution. Uh, nope, actually it's under analysis. So I've got add territory C points. If I don't want to look in the individual tools, we have it right here as a command in the ribbon UI. So here I just want to load my uh, into the territories level of the Mexico territories, I'll find my Mexico franchises, and then I just do a little field mapping here. So it says, well, what is the name of the territories in your uh, particular database? So name is name, and it, it, there's an ID. I click ID, that's pretty much all I have to go and do here. And if I run this, I'm now loading the seed points into my solution. So as you can see, um, I now have the territories and their seed points are loaded and I still have the geographic uh, centers of my territories loaded here. But if I resolve that, you can see that the territories should re redistribute or, or they should be redistributed based on the new seed points in white. So as you can see here, they've changed the shape and this allows uh, much more flexibility and much more control in how your territories are built. So now they're being built around these starting locations instead of um, this geography first and then um, applying the geographic center. So that's a new feature that we've added into territory design, all about seat points and controlling territories. Mm -hmm.